Howdy everybody. I had a request from a viewer who was building an Allen Mogul, which I think is awesome. And this is the main reason that I started the channel in the first place. Um, when I started it, I was more than halfway done. My chassis was running on air and um, <clears throat> I've been documenting bit by bit, making the plumbing parts and so forth for the locomotive and some of the tests. But um, so a lot of the stuff that I did before I got to this stage has not been really documented on video yet. So the viewer was asking me, subscriber was asking me about the rivet pattern for the smoke box. So, and what they are, are they all real rivets? What did I use? How did I do it? So let me show you. These things, these are stainless steel button head drive screws or drive nuts. Um, the ones that are perfectly round like that. The ones, if you look close, you can see some of these button heads that have a little hex in there. These are actually machine screws or bolts, whatever you want to call them. And th there's a there's two rows of them, and they actually hold. There's a, a, a thick brass panel inside here that holds the two halves of the smoke box together. So the next question you might wonder is, how in the world did I lay out the rivet pattern? And I've got the answer for that here. Let me show you. These are just ordinary pieces of hot rolled steel. I think like three quarter inch by eighth inch. You can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot. And I put it in the milling machine and I drilled pilot holes half inch on center. And so I use that for the bottom row here. These are all half inch on center. You can just clamp the, your jig in place, line it up straight and clamp it and, and drill away. And then for the upper row, these are one inch on center, so you can see it was every other one. So that's what I used to drill those, those holes. And for the round parts, I did the same thing, much longer piece. And I did it while it was flat. I drilled the holes and deburred them. And then before I'd ever built the boiler jacket and bands and all this stuff, I had the boiler as a big steel tank tube as it came from Marty Knox and I used that as my form. I gently bent it by hand, bent this strip by hand around the boiler and then clamped it and so forth. Then I was able to use that and just clamp it in place and use it as my drilling jig for these rivets for the top and the bottom. And you just rotate it around as, as needed. So I hope that makes sense. Here is a close up of the actual the drive screws. They're round head, 3 16 cent drive screws. You can see I made a note. I used a number 37 drill to make the hole for them. They're number fours. And I got these from Enco. You're gonna need a lot of them if you're building an Allen Mogul. They're boxes of 100. So this one's basically empty and this one's got a few left in it. So it takes quite a bit of these things. This is what they look like. <clears throat> the pretty 3 16 inch stainless steel head. And then the screw itself, it's got a little spiral to it and a taper so that you, you drill the pilot hole and then you tap it in with a little brass hammer. And they, they go in real easy. There's no problem with it. So that's what that's, hopefully that answers that question. The other question that the same viewer asked was to describe how the frame works. It's very difficult to show this. Something that Fred taught me is that if you want something to disappear on one of these locomotives, just paint it black. And sure enough, I mean, I've got the frame painted black, the wheels are paint, painted black in the center, the drivers are front aprons back black, the um, uh, cylinders are, the steam chests and all that. So it's really difficult to see, but, um, and the saddle, this is, that's, this part is called the saddle. It bolts onto the bottom of the smoke box here and the saddle has a little T-shape, almost like a wing, that sits out here. And you drill holes through the saddle. And the saddle bolts into a notch on the cylinder. So that's how the top of the cylinder gets fastened to the, the, um, the yoke in the center there. The saddle and the cylinder get fastened with those bolts. There's a kind of a little lip in the frame that sticks up like this. You can't really see it because it's painted black, but the frame goes underneath. There's a ridge on the cylinders. So the cylinders, there's a couple of bolts that go up into the frame and then 
that the cylinder also fits into it's it's held in place in that little physical notch kind of like I'm doing with my hand I know it's not really clear so you have the the front apron is bolted on here to the saddle um, with some through bolts so I know that's not real great explanation but if you look at your blueprints and think about what I said hopefully it'll make some more sense to you um, for viewers that are trying to you know, if, you, if you're working on a project like this, hopefully my channel is helpful. There's a few other channels out there that can help you with this type of project. But the, by far and away the biggest help is having a local mentor who can show you how to fit things together. And also the added resource of the Chasky, I'm sorry, Chasky website, um, home, home Machinist, you know, just, just search C-H-A-S-K-I dot org and you'll find the that website and you, there's a live steam board on there some very knowledgeable people and they can fill you in on the additional questions that you might have so I hope that's helpful thanks for watching everybody I will keep you posted